Hello, I'm Tim Carter, an advanced instructor at Aviation Performance Solutions. I'm here to introduce my article about jet upsets in the crew environment. If an airliner encounters an engine failure on takeoff, it's likely that the crew will respond in a swift and coordinated manner. This is a situation that's practiced repeatedly in simulators involving an intricate choreography of words and actions between crew members. This rapid coordinated response is less likely to occur in an upset or loss of control situation. This article will address upset as a precursor to loss of control in flight, ICAO recommendations for upset prevention and recovery training, integrating CRM into upset prevention and recovery training, and the future of CRM in upset training. An upset is generally considered to be pitch attitudes beyond 25 degrees nose high, 10 degrees nose low, 45 degrees of bank, or within these parameters but an airspeed inappropriate for the conditions. An upset is generally a precursor to a loss of control in flight. Loss of control in flight is the leading cause of fatalities in all categories of aviation. Accordingly then, there's a disconnect between the threat and the way we currently train to respond to this type of crisis. In an attempt to reduce this threat, ICAO has recommended UPRT be incorporated into commercial and ATP licensing training. In the past, stalls and unusual attitudes were trained separately, but there's nothing preventing them from occurring together, and in fact they have. This can lead to confusion in a time-critical, life-threatening situation. Causes of upsets can be from environmental phenomena, systems-related failures, or pilot-induced pilot factors. In the past, recoveries have been neither standardized nor taught as crew events. Current guidance from ICAO, IATA, the International Air Transport Association, and the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid and others now recommend more consistent techniques and more structured UPRT strategy. They also recommend incorporating CRM principles into upset prevention and recovery training. Recommendations from ICAO are directed to multi-crew environments primarily. And based on that, CRM should also be considered during UPRT. They recommend a building block approach throughout a pilot's career, including academic training, aircraft training, and simulator training. They also suggest that rather than doing unusual attitudes and stalls as individual maneuvers in maneuver-based training, that they also be done as scenario-based training and include CRM. This will also serve to improve pilot monitoring awareness and prevention skills. Currently, CRM is underutilized in upset prevention and recovery training. It is used for wind shear training, which is done in a scenario-based training and incorporates CRM principles. There's no reason not to do the same for UPRT. International Air Transport Association also recommends the use of standardized callouts, callouts such as nose high, upset, nose high, recover, or upset, nose low, recover. Standardizing callouts should shorten recovery time and help the crew focus their attention on the recovery. Use of CRM for recoveries also dictates a proportional response. 
Awareness of prevention skills can prevent an upset by catching it before upset parameters have been exceeded. Recovery skills can affect a recovery after parameters have been exceeded and still prevent a loss of control in a flight. The pilot monitoring can use escalation of interventions as necessary. He may first just communicate to make the pilot flying aware. If the situation worsens, he may give specific direction. Or if it becomes critical, he may need to take control of the aircraft. As CRM becomes more integrated into upset prevention and recovery training, it should result in better pilot monitoring skills and it should also enhance understanding, awareness, prevention, and recovery skills. Hopefully this will lead to a reduction of the loss of control in flight accidents. In this article we've discussed upset as a precursor to loss of control in flight. The ICAO recommendations for upset prevention and recovery training. Integrating CRM into upset prevention and recovery training. And the future of CRM in upset training. APS specializes in the delivery of upset prevention and recovery training for pilots of all skill levels to dramatically reduce the loss of control in flight threat. We offer online, on aircraft, advanced simulator, train the trainer, and integrated upset training solutions. Please visit, visit us at APSTraining.com. Thank you for taking the time to look at this article today.